lived there, right? He was there. At the crime scene. Yeah. You said that. No. No, not just his prints. He was there the next morning when we were there. Is this what you're remembering? Seeing him at the crime scene? This guy's prints are at the house, all over it. He turns up to the crime scene the next morning. We talked to him. His alibi for the time of the murder is that he was home alone. And we don't follow it up. We don't talk to his friends. We don't talk to his neighbors. Isaac Samuel's prints were all over the house. He had motive, and he confessed. Doesn't make sense. Well, it doesn't matter now. The dead don't talk. Yeah, maybe. But they do leave it behind. Mrs. Finn, my name's Roy Freeman. I, uh, I understand this is a very bad time, but I was wondering, can I just ask you a couple of questions about your husband? Uh, I'm her husband, Eddie. Oh, I'm so sorry, Eddie. Hi. Uh, is the other Mrs. Finn around here somewhere? Uh, no. She and Richard weren't exactly on the best of terms. Now, is there something I can help you with? He was my brother. I'm looking into a case that your brother was particularly interested in. Recently, he went to visit a death row inmate, and he mentioned he was actually writing a book on the subject. I wondered if you knew anything about this. Yeah, I'm gonna get a ride home with Aunt Jude. Yeah. Okay. 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 <sighs> I'm uh, just over here. Here. I found it in his apartment. He called it the Book of Mirrors. The title doesn't make any sense to me. Book of Mirrors? Isaac Samuel, that uh, death row inmate, he said this is about the Weta murder? Yeah, well, if Richard were here, he'd probably call it a crime memoir or something. You read it? Much as I could stomach. It's a bunch of self-grandizing garbage, you ask me. Not some girl he was obsessed with in college. So uh, you guys weren't close? Look, I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but Richard wasn't exactly someone that you wanted to get close to. How long had he been using? Drugs? No. No, I never knew him to be into drugs. It just didn't seem his thing. Then again, with Richard, nothing was ever really how it seemed. I mean, he'd always been a little bit off, even when we were kids. But this last year, last couple of years even, something just didn't seem right. What was different? I don't know. He was agitated, paranoid, just like he comes across in that book. But listen, if I were you, I wouldn't waste too much time on it. OK, I can keep this? Be my guest. Memory is a fickle thing, what we can recall, what we can't. Rare moments that forever imprint, banalities that don't. Sufferings so painful, they're buried deep in our mind's recesses, forgotten till time takes it back up. Whatever the memory though, good, bad, unremarkable, it never comes back all at once. They're always doled out in fragments, like pieces of a puzzle you have to wait to complete. When you'll get another puzzle piece? That's anyone's guess. Months, years, could be a decade. Richard Finn? Like it was with the murder of Joseph Weeder. 10 years of never understanding it. Or as I now know, misunderstanding it. <laughs> and all because of her. 
Laura Baines. She was one of those rare unicorns who knew everything about everything. Nobody made better use of chromatic counterpoint than Rachmaninoff. Double bachelors in art history and neuroscience. Between lower cortisol levels and their predisposition for A master's in math. The beauty of what Odwishko showed is that the distribution... Spoke five languages. She knew exactly who she was. If only I did back then. <clears throat> How's the punch? The way you've been skulking around, waiting for your moment to come and talk to me, I figured you'd at least come up with something better than how's the punch? I wasn't skulking. Not just skulking, leering too. Oh, skulking and leering. You're making me sound like I'm a serial killer. Well, I can say I knew you went. <laughs> I'm, uh, Richard. I know. It's on your chest. Oh, right. And yet, uh, here you are. Nameless and shrouded a mystery seems unfair. Oh, what's in a name, really? That which we call a rose by any other name. Oh, great. Another bardolator. <laughs> so, uh, what's your thesis about? Um... No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's probably something controversial. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Cross-gender interference in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Boom. Close. Memory reconsolidation through accelerated resolution therapy. Oh, one of the bard's lesser-known works. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> psychology department. I'm Laura. What, you just like to crash other departments' mixers? Oh, uh, no, I, I came with a friend. Well, a colleague, really. Professor Reeder. I'm helping him with some research, and he's administering my thesis. Right, on memory reconstruction through the accelerated reconciliation. Memory reconsolidation <laughs> through your excel yeah, okay. No, sorry, I'm just being part of the mouth. It is a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> How many wishes do you got? Oh, it uh, belonged to my grandmother. I, I read somewhere that uh, when a woman plays with her jewelry, She's flirting with you. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read. 